Hey there, Investing Iguanas. Iggy here, and today we're diving deep into the world of REITs, specifically the impressive performance of Capital and Integrated Commercial Trust, or CICT for short. As a financial analyst, my goal is to break down complex concepts and provide you with valuable insights to help you make informed investment decisions. In this video, we'll explore six recent financial results, their strategies for success, and what the future may hold for this top-performing REITs. So, grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. Capital and Integrated Commercial Trust, CICT, is the largest real estate investment trust, REITs, listed on the Singapore Exchange Securities Trading Limited, SGXST, with a market capitalization of 10.3 billion US dollars or 13.7 billion Singapore dollars as of December 31, 2023. The trust was formed through the merger of Capital and Mall Trust and Capital and Commercial Trust in November 2020. As of December 31, 2023, CICT owns and invests in a diversified portfolio of 21 properties in Singapore, two properties in Frankfurt, Germany, and three properties in Sydney, Australia. The trust's portfolio comprises retail, office, and integrated developments, with a total property value of 24 Singapore dollars and 50 cents billion. Six portfolio includes prominent properties such as Raffles City, Singapore, Capita Spring, Plaza, Singapore, and Capita Green in Singapore, as well as Galileo and Main Airport Center in Frankfurt, Germany. The trust's geographically diversified portfolio provides a balance of stability and growth opportunities as it capitalizes on the economic growth and real estate demand. In the countries where it operates, 6. Impressive DPU Growth In the first half of the 2024 fiscal year, CICT reported a remarkable 2.5% year-on-year growth in their distributions per unit, or DPU, reaching an impressive 5.43 cents. To put this achievement into perspective, CICT is one of only three REITs and property trusts in Singapore to report DPU growth this year. Maple Tree Industrial Trust recorded a 1.2% year-on-year growth, while Capital and India Trust reported an 8% rise in DPU. So, what's the secret sauce behind Six Resilient DPU? According to Tony Tan, the CEO of Six Manager, it's a combination of factors, including A. NPI growth based on rental growth B. Lower property costs, including utility costs. C. The successful reopening of CQ at Clark Quay in April. D. Stabilized financing cost at 3.5%. Securing higher NPI and managing costs. 10. Emphasized that CICT secured higher NPI at the property level and maintained a high tenant retention rate. They also achieved impressive rental reversions of plus 9.3% for their Singapore retail properties and plus 15% for their Singapore office spaces. This showcases the effectiveness of six proactive leasing strategy and strong tenant engagement. Looking ahead, TAN aims to lower the leverage ratio over time by driving asset performance, improving asset values, and exploring selective capital recycling opportunities. He also reassured investors that most of the debt expiring has been refinanced with around 80% of six refinancing for 2024 either completed or in advanced stages of documentation. Navigating Challenges and Seizing Opportunities While six performance is undeniably impressive, there are some potential risks to consider. Analysts seem to be encouraging the manager to divest its Singapore properties, but finding DPU accretive acquisitions in Singapore might be challenging given REIT's current cost of capital and debt. On the other hand, venturing overseas hasn't always yielded the best results for SREITS. CICT also has a call option to acquire the remaining 55% of Capita Spring within five years from the date of its temporary occupation permit in 2021. It will be interesting to see if they choose to divest their current 45% stake or acquire the remaining 55%. Redevelopment and Extensive Asset Enhancement Initiatives, AEIs, are other ways for CICT to improve its NPI. Two of six properties, Galileo and IMM, are currently undergoing major AEIs, which are expected to be completed in the second half of 2025 and the fourth quarter of 2024, respectively. Analyst Forecasts and Stock Performance As of August 13, 2024, six stock is trading at two Singapore dollars and five cents, up 1.99% from the previous day's close. Over the past year, the stock has gained 8.47%, outperforming the broader Straits Times Index, which has risen by 5.23% in the same period. 
analysts remain bullish on CICT, with a consensus rating of buy and an average target price of two Singapore dollars and 35 cents, representing a potential upside of 14.6% from the current price. JP Morgan, in particular, continues to like CICT, noting that their DPU growth is the fastest among large cap REITs. They believe the outlook remains positive, with impressive rental reversions in both the retail and office segments. The bottom line. Despite the challenges and volatility in the market, CICT remains focused on driving revenue growth and managing costs. With a diversified portfolio of high-quality retail and office properties, a proactive management team, and a strong track record of delivering value to unit holders, CICT is well-positioned to navigate the uncertainties ahead. As always, remember to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you found this video insightful and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and analysis in the world of REITs and beyond, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay invested. Investing Iguanas.